Hello, everyone, and welcome. We are back, and I'm excited for this stream. What's up, Boons? Uh, let me refresh this real quick. Jordan, thank you for the sub. And thank you for the 20 months. How goes it today, Jordan? Okay, so we are back in Supermarket Simulator, as usual. And uh, we have an online store now. Just got a new mouse. Oh, I need to get me a new mouse. Hello, Cougar. Video unavailable. Uh, what's going on, Robert? Nursing home simulator win. <laughs> oh god, should I should I live stream at work, guys? So that way you can actually see me working for real. <laughs> I'm loving the new internet mod. It's pretty cool. Right now will be the uh, right now will be the the first chance I get to actually test it out for real, because uh, I only got to mess around it with it a little bit earlier. So now will be the whoa! What the hell just happened? <laughs> the heck was that? Oh wow, we got a few orders in. All right, we need yogurt. I'm guessing it's this one. Hot sauce. And more yogurt. Right? Oh, crap. Did I just... Oh, that's not good. No. Oh, it's the white one. Okay. What the heck? Oh, this is a glitch. Happy to hear about the job. You're going to make a great Chuck E. Cheese costume guy? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Chuck E. Cheese costume guy. You got it. <laughs> oh, shit. What? Oh, God. What happened to the game? I think something broke. I think I might have automatically just found the first glitch in this game. Oh. Oh, hold on. Ah, there we go. Okay, never mind. Boss alarm. Uh, let's see who was the first one. Yep, it was Antire. Antire was the first one. Sorry. That was the first message that came up. What's up, Essa? Alright, let's get through these online orders. This is on to interfere with my actual product, too, so I gotta be careful to make sure that everything is on the... We need ketchup, 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 ketchup over here. Mayonnaise. And sandwich bread. There we go. Ah, see? You may have been the first to chat, but Robert was the first to like. I don't know, man. How, how you the first to chat, but not the first to like? You slipping. Salt and cleaner. This cleaner? Yeah, there we go. Do you think this new mod will get workers as a part of an update? No. No. <laughs> the answer to that is a definitive and probably most definite no.
I am almost 100% certain that will not happen. Alright, let's see here. Uh, supermarket online. Alright, what we got now? We need mayonnaise. And we need beer. Uh, Fess? Is it this one? I'm gonna eventually learn what all the brands are thanks to this new mod. Don't listen to Robert. Well, I can't tell. There's no way for me to know who's telling the truth about who liked first. There's literally no way I could know what the real truth is, so... I'm going to be forced to believe the person who's given the largest donations. <laughs> Them's the rules. I don't make them. So I guess it's just a me thing. Can't like anything. I just got a message that says resource has been exhausted. Check quota when I try to like anything. Huh? <laughs> That's weird. I've never... Has anybody ever heard of that before? When you try to like something? You're talking about on YouTube, right? That sounds... kind of crazy. When I try to like a video or a short, that pops up. What? Money Talks is real. Oh, believe it. You better believe it. But don't worry, that doesn't make you a liar. That just means I am more inclined to believe the person with the bigger wallet. You could still be absolutely telling the truth. And you know what? You should live in your truth and and, and, and bask in your own integrity. And don't 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 feel discouraged. Know what I'm saying? Did you see the monster energy? Yeah, I saw the uh all the fridge mods. I look at all the mods every day. Well, mostly every day. I go in and I look at everything that's new. So 90% of the time, I'll say 80% of the time. If you ask me if I've seen a mod, I probably have and just haven't downloaded it yet. 90s may be pushing it. Uh, supermarket online. We need durian soap. Huzzah! Alright, we need beer. Uh, I guess it's this one. Yeah, there we go. Sandwich bread. Oh, dang it. Yeah, the, uh, so basically, if you ever want to do any custom mods yourself, as far as textures go, but you don't want to uh, download the, the one mod that allows you to get access to the textures, you can just download somebody else's mod who already textured those things, and then just change them to whatever you want them to, which is a much easier way than actually downloading the texture mod and trying to get those, uh, those, those things yourself. Because it's actually a little a little bit of a pain in the butt to get the, get access to those yourself. If your computer doesn't have all the stuff it needs to have on it. Something to think about. Mm, we need ketchup. And we need hand soap. And we need ketchup and hand soap. And that's not ketchup or hand soap. There we go. I watched a bit of the Fallout show. Oh, it was close to the games, but not quite. It messed up on a couple things. I still need to check it out. Like, I don't really want it to be. Like, I know a lot of people are like, it's like the show, or it's not like the show. Like, I, I want it to be kind of like the show. Like, I want it to be, I want it to have a lot of things that are involved with the show. And not, like, ruin the general world in the lore. But I don't necessarily want it to just be, like, 
retelling the story of a, one of the games either, you know? I'd like it to stand on its own as a story. Just don't fuck up the lore in the world. That's all I care about. Why does the cashier no longer have a name? Because I have to fire him and rehire him for one of you guys to become the cashier. And that's the only way it works. Unfortunately, at least for now. And it costs money to fire and rehire him. Money in which I don't have. We broke out here in these streets. Nope, it's this one. All right. Making a little extra money on the side with these online orders. Yes, sir. We got to make that dough. Durian dish soup, cleaner, and hot sauce. They're going to make some deadly sauce for fries. What up, Grim? We need yogurt. And hot sauce. Mmm, spicy yogurt. My favorite. It's sort of retelling three, but the lore... They messed up on the time bomb drop, but that's not the major issue. They did mess up the lore of the faction, though. Will boxing him up and moving him change it? I doubt it. I don't think so, no. As far as I know, because basically, you guys, the way it's set up now, you guys are already listed as customers, at least in this day's instance. When I switch, like, I'm going to switch right now. And I'm switching to the next day, right? In this instance, right now, you're all in the queue. And you're waiting until I start the day so it can assign you to customers. In this time period, I could fire and hire any employees. And you guys will, like, the names will pop up on the employees at that moment. But only during this stage. If I click open, then you guys are just going to be customers and that's it. So that's how that works, just in case anybody was wondering. <laughs> you should know pitchforks don't work on me. Oh, and thank you for everybody who said congratulations on the job. I have kept my streak alive of never going to an interview and not getting the job, which I think I'm pretty proud of. Would you ever use textured fridges and freezers? I plan on it. I just haven't really, uh, I don't, I didn't have enough time. I, I was going to actually do it today. <clears throat> but I had a job interview and then I had some other stuff I needed to do. Mm -hmm. Um, all right. So let's say we go to the market and we go to refill all. Ooh, yeah, that's not going to do it for me. That's not really going to do it for me. Yep. I uh, I got a job. I got the same streak going. You should be proud. Yeah. Like, I've applied for jobs and not taken them. But every... Every, uh... Every job I've ever gone in to interview for, I was offered the job. I don't think I had ever had an interview, or at least not that I can remember, where they were just like, we don't want to hire you. Or they said, we'll call you back and didn't. Like, I always either got called back, or they always just offered me to drive on the spot. <sighs> Buy some potatoes, and we need some more. Pasta. There we go. I hate when they say, we'll give you a call. Yeah, I mean, sometimes they mean it. I'm close to max level on mine, finally. Oh, my God. So, if you are close to max level, 
and you decide to put on the uh, the online store mod, be weary. You're going to get like 80 orders in that day. <laughs> DoorDash keeps calling me for a hub store they have, wants to interview me for manager. Not sure if I want to accept. I actually was going to apply for that. That was actually the first job I looked at when I started looking for a job again. Because I figured it might be easy. I'm like, yeah, this looks easy. Fuck it. But I figured I might as well get a job in the field that I went to school for. <laughs> like, might as well. So I can get paid accordingly. Oh, what's up, Pat? Yeah, but it's going to be... It's going to be new to start working again. Like getting up and going to work. It's going to be, uh, I got to get back to used to that. But from the job and based on what I learned from the interview and stuff like that, it looks interesting. It looks like something I can definitely get into. Have you ever played restaurant games? I played a cooking simulator and I played the kebab one. Whatever the heck the kebab one is called, I forgot. Uh, okay. All right. Oh, we got some big orders today. We need that. We need that. Wait, no, we don't. We need that. Ah, okay. Now we need the durian soap, a potato bag, and sandwich bread. Uh, what job? I got a job as a uh, cook at a nursing home. Yeah. So I'll be uh, I'll be starting that in a couple weeks. Should be fun. Or supremely annoying. It'll be one or the other for sure. Either way, I won't be poor anymore. Or at least not as poor as I am now. <laughs> Significantly less poor than previously. And after my wife, uh, after she stops working at her job or whatever, she's going to focus on doing like DoorDash and stuff and, and uh, probably Amazon Flex and... In the meantime, to make some more money on the side while I try to dig us out of this hole we're in. And a. Oh, there it is. We need that. And that. And that. You should wear AR glasses to work so we can pay to have you do cool things there. <laughs> I wish I could pull something like that off. I've been seeing some of these AR, AR and XR glasses, man, and I kind of want one. There's this one in particular I've been looking at that I thought was kind of cool because I'm I'm really into the VR, XR, AR stuff, even though I know a lot of people are just like it's a lost cause and a lot of people I know hate it, but I really do enjoy VR. All right. I'm grabbing all the high value ones first. We got cleaner. We need three of those. We need a potato. We need beer. That one there. And then we need yogurt. 400 to eat everyone's lunch. I don't know why y'all think you would be able to donate enough to me to get me fired from my job. You'd literally have to donate a year's salary for me to, <laughs> for me to, for me to like do something stupid enough to get fired from my job. <laughs> Which I don't even think is possible. I mean, I wonder what the upper limit is. What's the maximum you can download through PayPal? 
I know there's a cap. There has to be. But I'm just curious as to what it could possibly be. You didn't say what the salary was? Because it doesn't matter. <laughs> what does that matter? Don't act like anybody in this chat is in the position to pay another person's salary. <laughs> we ain't even about to play them games. Uh, Fess. Uh, Durian. And Cake. There we go. It would make sense that the new mod has employees for in-game max out store. Well, it, I mean, I guess it depends. Like, you probably get access to more employees. Like, maybe more. Like, more cashiers and pro probably more restockers. But I don't know if they're going to, like, introduce or implement an entire new type of employee. Like, I, I don't know. For some reason, I don't foresee that being a thing. I mean, it could. I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm just saying it feels unlikely. Also, I feel like there's much more pressing things that the developer is probably concerned with. And I can almost guarantee that ain't one of them. At least not now. So what you're saying is get Mr. Beast to donate some of his revenue after an hour of an uploaded vid. I mean, sure. If y'all can get Mr. Beast to make it to where I don't have to work, then I will stream all day, every day. Well, not all day, but I would stream absolutely every day. For several hours. So we pay the shipping costs on this mod? I don't know. Did I ever... Is there a shipping cost? What's this mean? Do you watch Mr. Beast? Not lately. I haven't seen Mr. Beast's content lately. But I used to watch his stuff all the time. So that said, I was going to get 21 and I got 21. When we grab this, does it... Does it take money? It doesn't seem to take money away from us. I'm noticing something subtracting when I ship. And I see the total. Really? Hold on. Hold on. Let me. Because I, I swear I just got the full amount, I thought. Yeah, 14. Hold on. Let me see. I mean, if we are paying the shipping too, like, it's not like that's a big deal, but that is a thing of note. How much was I supposed to get for this one? Like 13 something? How much was the penne? Wait, I just put. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. I think I see what you mean now. So, wait, I got 3906. Well, we'll wait until he leaves. And this one's fifteen dollars. So salt and the cake. Those equal up to five dollars. Oh thank you, Laura, by the way. I didn't see your message up there, but because I'm uh They got me working full time in this boy. I'm actually doing work. Man, hurry up. So there's a red number underneath the green. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what I just saw, too. So it should be... Let me see. Both items were $5. It said I was supposed to get 15 which means I should get 10 right? So it should be 
three nine five six. Three nine five five. Okay, that was about right. Okay, yeah. So we're just the the total cost here is that plus the shipping, I'm assuming. Interesting. I mean, it's fine. We're still making money. We're still making more money. I'm not tripping. It's all right. All right, and then let's grab the salt. All right, all online orders are done. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't really matter. I did, I mean, I... I, I was thinking like it we wasn't really getting as much money as I thought the number was saying, but now it makes sense. I wonder if I should just like fill up all the storage again. Should I just do like a full fill? Uh, I don't think I can afford it. No, well, I can't afford it. Uh. Oh wait, yeah, I don't have to do all this though. We don't have to do this much salt. And we also don't have to do this much beer. So we can cut back on this quite a bit, actually. Yeah, this will this will be better. Okay, that's that's much more manageable. Did you see where I said I sent an empty box by mistake after getting the order and still got paid? Really? Huh. Did you get paid for the full order, or did you only get paid what you delivered? Well, you said it was empty, so... Hmm. That's interesting. I think I'm gonna help you with these potatoes there, fella. Empty box, huh? Hmm. Oh, that's... That's kind of strange. What? Oh, that must be just a visual error. Okay, yeah, that that must be. That must be a visual error. Okay, let me see, hold on. Alright, I'm gonna open up the store. Okay, so literally just grab a box from here and then just turn it in and you automatically get it. Just like this. Huh. No way. That can't be. Hold on. 7777. Seven, what? But... <laughs> but, like... Hmm. Hold on. Yogurt and ketchup. How many ketchups I got here? Alright, two in the front, one in the front, and then there's four there. Two, one, and then four. Huh. I mean... Huh. I mean, yeah, just, hey. Fuck it. I mean... <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's still fun to collect the items, though. Alright, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to collect the items during the day. 
and once nighttime hits, then I'm just going to turn in whatever's left. Because I, I think it's fun collecting the items, though. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to just totally cheese it, because I do like actually engaging with it. I think it's fun. You can do online orders? What's the catch? Uh, the catch is I don't have to actually send you anything, apparently. I could just send you an empty box and still get paid. That's apparently the catch. Oops, almost threw it in the garbage. Wait, I just like filled everything. I think I need to help him do some restocking. What are we lowest on? Eh, you know what? I think he's doing fine. We're we're okay. I don't need to jump into his whole situation. <clears throat> uh oh, Robert, what you find out? Just notice you lose one XP for it. Yeah, but who gives a shit? That's basically like stealing like when you cashiering and you steal money from the you like lose one XP, but like have you noticed, Robert, that your XP doesn't actually go down? Whenever you lose XP in this game, like, the bar doesn't ever go down. It's just a number that says minus. It never actually moves backwards. What's up, Jazz? You lose XP when you send... Yeah, but, like, I don't think losing XP actually exists in this game. Because if you ever paid attention to when your store is full, like, when it's full... And the customers get backed up. Every single time a person complains that there is no room in the line for the cashier, you lose points. And I had that happening for like five straight minutes. And the bar never budged. It never budged in the opposite direction. It, it just kept saying that I was losing XP. So either, either the XP you lose is so negligible that it basically doesn't visually move the bar. Or it's broken. One or the other. And I don't know which one it is, and I'm not really at liberty to, to ask, so. I think the XP is shown at the end of the day, so your bar doesn't go down, but your points number at the end of the day will be less. So yeah, like you get a deduction from the points that you were supposed to get, but I mean, that's not really, I mean, that's not really a consequence. Because like, what what are the consequences really of leveling up slightly slower in this game? Like you don't lock, you don't unlock a, maybe you don't unlock a, a license today, but you'll do it tomorrow instead. You know what I mean? It's just like, you know, now if they, if they make the consequences hefty enough for you not providing product or whatever, then I can see that being an issue. But for now, like I, I'm not pressed whenever I lose XP. Like I don't, I don't feel like anything actually happened. I need two of those. And I need this one. Get out the way, you fool. I have online orders to fulfill. I just installed the more cashiers mod. Mm. Yeah, I'm probably not going to end up getting that one. We need potatoes. We need this one. No this one that's the one and we need mayonnaise and we need salt and we need this yogurt no that yogurt and this yogurt well done a deduction of what you would get it's not really a loss you can't really lose something you didn't get exactly that's what i'm saying like it doesn't doesn't feel like much of a consequence Although, consequence, it still is. It just doesn't seem like something that would concern most people. Or would cause you any problems or duress. It just seems like a slight and very unnoticeable inconvenience. Sandwich bread, sandwich bread. There we go. 
I keep running straight to the garbage can for some reason. Have you guys noticed that? How much for a rock? Does the rock do anything? What rock? Will you see any rocks? We'll sell rocks here. What are you on about, crazy person? Your incoherent ramblings mean nothing to me, you fool. I don't think I meant to do that. Nani? Uh-oh. I think I accidentally grabbed multiple boxes, which I didn't know you could do, but apparently... Oh boy. Maybe this is a visual glitch too. Only one way to find out. Yep, it is. Tis a visual glitch. <laughs> uh, you should watch Seniac and Raptor Tamado Gaming have a series on this game of about mods and have not considered using mods yet except for Raptor. Yeah, I don't watch a lot of other people play this game. I just, uh, I wish I had time to watch other people play games, but I barely have enough time to play games on my own. <laughs> uh, what was I about to do? I need to get rid of this box somehow. Let's save it real quick. All right. Oh, and I found out I can actually log into. Whoa. Wait a second. I heard about this. I think I heard something about this. What? I heard something about this. Somebody typed this. Uh, was it in my chat? I think these are all empty boxes. No, they're not empty boxes. Uh Yeah, I definitely saw something somebody say something about this, but I didn't know what they meant. Like when they typed it out, I was like, "What the fuck does that mean?" Can I just like Is this empty? That's empty. This one's empty. That one's empty. This is not empty. Are they, like, giving me my stuff back? No, wait, there's... What the hell? What happened? I'm not sure what's going on here. What's in here? Is that empty? No, there's something in here. There's two. What? <laughs> what the fuck? Returns? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Everybody returned their product. I, uh, I don't know. I'm not really sure what to make of it. Okay, some of these boxes are empty. Some of them aren't. That rack is full. That box is empty. That rack is full. I, um, 
I'm not sure what happened here, to be perfectly honest. I really hate every time I see the occupied by restocker message it makes me very angry <laughs> like every time that message pops up on my screen it pisses me off just a little bit so the racks for the yogurts are completely full but how how is that I didn't well you know what maybe I did no, I didn't though. I did we didn't fully restock the yogurt. We actually stopped we took a, a whole bunch of the yogurts and the uh and the beers and stuff off, right? No, that's wrong. No, we did the yogurt. We just didn't do the salt and the beers. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure what that whole scenario was about or how it came to be, to be honest. I'm actually kind of confused. Very confused, actually. Huh. Well, we already got a bunch of these. Can you do a mod install for RDC Tweaker and Balance Game RDC Tweaker? Uh... You talking about a tutorial, an installation tutorial? Yeah, I could probably do that tomorrow. Hmm. Yeah, cause I I have a I have one video lined up, but I plan on doing two uploads tomorrow, so I'll just make that one of them. I can't get it to work. All right, yeah, I'll I'll do that tomorrow then. Remind me before the end of the stream cuz I'll probably forget. Uh all right. So let's turn the lights on. I'm not sure what exactly happened from before, but I think the the idea is just not to log out for a while. Um Okay, so management, what's our next license going to be? We got rices, ice creams, dairy products, sugars, fridge products, spreads, bottled waters, prepared foods, frozen vegetables, blah, 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 blah. What should, uh, what should our next doobly doo be? What say you, chat? <clears throat> Doth thou haveth input? All right, let's see what online orders we got here. We got some big boys, some hefty boys. They always buy salt, like they always get salt. You say sweets? You say sweets or sugars? There's a lot of sweets in here. Oh, this one. Well, this one's... This one's 2300. Sweets or snacks if available. Is there one that just says snacks? Because the sweets one is right there. I don't think I see one that just says snacks. Hmm. 
<clears throat> There's one that says chips. How far down is that one? Oh yeah, it's right here. So either a twenty-five or a twenty-three hundred. I'm being told to get water. If I get water, I can put the water on pallets, actually. Might be a good idea to go water, honestly, because I can I can put water on the pallets. And y'all know how much I like the pallets. We love pallets over here. We are pro pallet. Water's good? All right. We are all in agreement. We shall buy the agua when the time comes. The agua shall be ours. We will bask in its watery glory. But for now, we shall do some online shopping. Water doesn't go bad, and people will always need it. That's right. And maybe someday people will kill each other over it in the apocalypse. And you'll be glad you're the one who has it. Maybe not, actually. <laughs> maybe you'll be... Maybe you won't be all that thrilled that everybody wants to kill you for your water. But you know what? It's just how it be sometimes. Books for max money. I don't have the books yet. It's going to be a while before I can unlock the books. But don't you worry. Because when I do unlock the books, it's going down. We need ketchup post haste. Ketchup has been retrieved. Now we need cake. And hot sauce. Look how fast I'm getting at doing these deliveries, man. I'm a well-oiled machine, yo. What's this? Mayonnaise. Bam. BK. Bam. Wait, was that right? I needed two of those. Uh, oh, shit. I need this one, too. Bam. Hand soap. Bam. Out of here. Hey, Cougar, you don't have to share that type of information. Satsu's mystery meat chili. What? Where the hell did that come from? <laughs> I make it very clear what I put in my chili. There's no mystery at all. Who done lied to you? Do 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 Have some potatoes. <clears throat> How about some mayonnaise and salt and yogurt and hand soap for the ultimate concoction? Oh, come on, man. Give me a copy back. Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm back. I had to throw up. No, I'm just kidding. You're doing a product promo. Not as bad as the Eastern Infection Yellow. Yeah, that is pretty gross. Not gonna lie. My wife was wrong for that one. Frugen. We need the Frugen yogurt. 
Brugen. It's the best. Alright, we need beer, beer, beer. Fast, 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 beer. Done. Delivered. What do we need now? We need pasta, penne. Oop, nope. And the durian. Done. I might as well put the damn computer outside at this point. Online store? Yes, indeed. No, uh... No, in the game. I have an online store in the game. <laughs> Although, believe it or not, that, uh, that holiday sale that I did for my spices where you can get all five discounted, I never took that discounted promo off, so it's still up there because I'm a lazy bastard. So yeah, if you took advantage of that and you're like, oh man, it's probably gonna it's not. It's still there. <laughs> you can still You can still do that because I'm a I'm a dummy. I'm a big old dum dum. Oh, we got all the online orders done in time this time. Skills. Hurry up and get out my store. I don't want to see your stupid face anymore. Oh, wait, there's no more Twitch customers. I forgot I reset the game, so none of you guys are customers right now. Oopsies. Thank you, Pumpkin Hawk. Thank you very much. It is time to buy a license. And that license is for water. We're gonna get three bottles of water. But hoist, we gotta go to furniture. We need to buy three palais. Which is essential to our master plan here. We're gonna take over the water industry by selling them on palais in front of the store it'll be an eye catcher it'll also let people know that we in do indeed sell product in here and then we will rake in the profits like a bunch of profit raking people i win how do you get your pallet to go outside? Mine won't do that. Oh, it's a, uh, it's the uh, place anywhere uh, mod. Uh, um, unrestricted placement, I think, is what it's called, or something like that, or something, something of that nature. Now it's time to buy some water. We need bottle water. Tons of it. More than you can handle. There will be drowning in it. All right. I'm gonna put two right there. And then we're gonna take you. We gonna go ahead and put you right around here. Mm -hmm. Wait, what are you doing with that? Where are you going with that? Oh, those are potatoes. Never mind. Aha! Uh, ah, there we go. Okie dokie. <laughs> Look at all this water. Our empire is starting. We will be known for the place with the most water. There will be more water here than you have ever seen with your stupid little eyes. 
You'll never know what hits you. Although I feel like these shouldn't be on here like individually like this. They should be like wrapped in little bundles, I think, or something like that. But what do I know? I'm not a water expert. Uh. Oh, it's this one. No? Wait a minute. Wait! I thought there was... Th three. There's four? Oh, no, I'm just an idiot. Ah, see, that makes sense. You're just dumb. There you go. See what happens when you're not stupid? Things work out a lot better. Let that be a lesson to you all. Don't be an idiot. Because it'll make you look like an idiot in front of everybody. You don't want to do that. We've been trying to tell you. No, you wasn't. You a liar. I don't believe you at all. Why would I believe your lies? Your name is literally two dangerous and untrustworthy things combined together. How on earth could you be trustworthy? Hmm? I don't trust cougars and I don't trust knives. And you're both. Chotomate, hold on. Wait a minute. I bought I bought five of all these. Right? Oh. But Oh. Oh yeah, the second half of my stupidity. Got it. Got it. Okay. I wasn't finished fixing the stupidity. It was still in effect, and I hadn't completed the, the fix of the dumb yet. But now the dumb is fixed. Two scary things make a nice things. Uh-huh. Sure. And two lefts make a U-turn. Okay. Cleaner. good on potatoes I think we're actually good on most product we can go ahead and open the store let's do it Grim don't don't you presume to know the limitations of my stupidity you have no idea you are messing around with powers that you do not understand don't even think that you could try to understand the deep complexities and the sheer level of stupidity that I can attain. It is beyond your comprehension. Your feeble mind could never grasp the concept. So give it up now before you embarrass yourself. You fool. Sandwich bread. And pasta. Wait a minute. Two lefts do make a U-turn. Oh, yeah? You've cracked the case, Holmes. I've been figured out. Oh, damn. Hold up. Why can't I... Why can't I get on the computer? Oh. Okay. Boss alarm. It's okay to be dumb and have brain farts. You will get through this. Oh, that's really encouraging. Thank you. See, most people aren't really encouraging. They just say mean things and they make me feel even dumber. But you're a you're a nice man. You made me feel like I wasn't actually as dumb. And that makes me happy. See? Sometimes being nice pays off. Okay, we need 
ketchup, banana, sandwich, what? Nope. Sandwich and cleaner. Awesome sauce. We making it happen, baby. Oh, we got three more. Killing it. Cleaner. Done. What else you got? Show me the money. Cake. Cleaner. Soap. Done. Gotta do these online orders. Our online customers are just as important and as loved as our customers in stores. We don't hold it against anyone who isn't able to enter the store physically. We understand that, you know, there are things that could be preventing you from doing so. So we're gonna send the, the food to you. Now it's back to smug, Satsu. I'm not smug. I am literally the opposite of that. That word you said. Everybody likes this yogurt. Beer. And sandwich bread. Well done. Excellent work. Alright, we are actually making money, guys. We are making progress and money. I know it's unheard of. But my little humble store, it's bringing in the buckaroonies. And I'm feeling like Mr. Krabs up in here right now. Sandwich bread. Nah, you still broke. I mean, yeah, but... Time to consider another cashier? No, 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 no. If anything, I need another restocker. My cashier's doing fine. He hasn't gotten backed up once. The restocker, on the other hand, is kind of slow. By himself, at least. I think uh, getting another restocker would be very helpful, actually. I'm guessing this game takes place in New York. Although, that can't. Maybe that's not totally reliable, considering this is a mod that has made that determination. I think I should hire another uh, restocker if I'm going to hire anybody. You got this, Mr. Cashier. Can I work as a restocker? I mean, whoever I end up... I'm going to hire a restocker in the morning, and whoever it ends up being is who it ends up being. I don't have control over it. It's, it's random. They'll pick whoever's in the queue. What the hell? I can't, I can't click the computer or the, uh, what the heck? Okay. What? Apparently it's telling me I got something in my hand. What's in my hand? I guess it was that. I don't know how I had something in my hand, but apparently I did. Oh, wait. Did I not sell that yogurt I was supposed to sell? I don't even remember. I don't know what I'm doing half the time, man. I don't know what's going on in my life.
I'm just a confused mess. We need this one, this one, and this one. Done. Easy peasy. Yeah, it actually feels like I'm making money now, which is great. Alright. I'll run to the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back. I have returned. Did you guys miss me? It's okay, you don't have to answer. I know you did. No need, no need. Tis obvious, I can see it on your face. The absolute elation. Very difficult to hide. I get it. I get it, totally. Uh, we need two. All right. So anybody who's who wants to be an employee or have a chance at being an employee, make sure that you're in the queue right now because I'm going to fire and hire these employees back. And when I do, it's going to determine who's who. So make sure that you are in the queue. Who? All right. Who shall be my lucky sl employees this time? All right. We're going to fire this cashier and fire this restocker. And then we're going to hire these restockers and then hire this cashier. Ooh, Spoony is our cashier. Edge Weller is one of our... And Nighthawk. There you go. Welcome to the team, guys. Very great to have you on board. Hopefully you guys work hard and effective, and I don't have to punch you in the eye. Or, I mean, fire you. <laughs> I'm sorry, Cougar. Better luck next time. You unlock the cashiers pretty early in this game, in this uh, version. All right, let's get some products. What happens if I need to refill all? Ooh, 
That's gonna be pretty hefty. All right, let's uh, let's drop down that salt a little bit. We'll back up on the uh, the beer, the smidge. We don't need that much beer. Actually, how much? Uh, oh, these are full. These are full. We don't need any beer. I mean, well, yeah, technically, we don't really need any any beer in the in the back. So let's get rid of this. Uh, the yogurts are looking okay, but we will get a couple of the yogurts. Uh, there's three yogurts though. One. Do we not need the other one? Oh, we don't need the other one because the other one's already full. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so that should have filled the stock room for the most part. Yeah, we're good on beers. Everything else we could have used, though. So, so far, so bueno. We'll go ahead and put this in here. All right. Let's start up a brand new day. Edgewalker, you can't say stuff like that at work. Not on the clock. You can yell that to the heavens afterwards. But I don't want to hear no, uh, no disparaging statements about the state of your work here. Send that to the Better Business Bureau. Got it? Okay, good. Just making sure that we're, we have an understanding here. Okie dokie. Now let's check these online orders, shall we? Yeah, boy, we need that. 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 And that. Damn. Where you go? You lucky I didn't I didn't hear that. I think what's funny is like the lore of this game could be if I don't see the text with my eyes, then I didn't hear you say it behind my back. <laughs> so I have to like see the text to acknowledge the fact that I heard you say it. Uh, hand soap. Hand soap. We need two of those. And we need ketchup. And we need cleaner. And we need cake. And we need salt. We need yogurt. And hot sauce. Which yogurt? The Frugen. Frugen yogurt. Excellent. Wait, what day are we on right now? Am I like out of the out of my penalty phase here? Can I like do whatever I want now? <laughs> Don't remember. Okay, here we go. Any yogurt? Here and there, making this money, baby. Let's get it. Hot sauce and that cleaner. Oh, 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 oh. uh, best beer. Two of them. Salt. Very Done. There's a cougar who wants your job and only <laughs> There is a cougar in the chat that is itching for your position. So make sure you guys are working hard because I don't want to have to fire you. I don't know how well the populace is going to take to me having an 
employee that's a liter literally a knife wielding cougar. I feel like that's not going to be the greatest thing for my business overall. <laughs> we need Yop Yog Hurt. Is this the Yog Hurt? Hmm. We need this Yog Hurt too. And the cleaner. There we go. What do you mean? Explain yourself. Go. This salt, dude. I feel like I'm actually working a job now, man. I feel so involved in my workplace. I feel so fulfilled. I'm actually pitching in, and I'm doing things, and I'm keeping track of stuff, and I'm yelling at my employees, man. This is like the immersion has kicked up quite a bit. I've never felt so productive. This is great. All right, potatoes, washer, water, done. Is it me or are these online orders coming in faster and faster? Could be tripping. But it definitely seems that way. Turn these lights on. How am I supposed to grab this product if I can't see? And durian dish of Man, I kind of have to know what durian dish soap smells like now. And I also would like to meet the psychopath who would buy it. Like, maybe there's some way to get durian not to smell like hot garbage. The restroom has no TP. Well, that's because you didn't do your job. Put any in it. Have you considered possibly doing your job? If I could show you what just happened when I logged out and came back in. Oh my God. Is there like a mountain of boxes there? Did you have a box of lunch too? The sidewalk was empty and all of a sudden a million boxes exploded. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with this. I think I'm gonna have to do a video on this too. Cause that's a that's an important note to tell people. If that's a thing that's happening. Oh yeah, I got yelled at on one of my videos today. This guy was like He got very upset with me. But he came at me with a whole bunch of snark, so I came back at him with the same level of snark, and he didn't like it very much. <laughs> oh, what just happened? So any bugs for you? Funny you should mention that. We were just talking about a bug. <laughs> Apparently, if you leave the game and come back, 
all of like a lot of the product that apparently you put in that box explodes out onto the sidewalk and i guess you get a lot of it back somehow maybe a conflict with the internet mod and something else i've never had it happen before i'm not sure i don't know what it could be uh clashing with but that seems like a major bug I'd be I'd be very shocked if nobody has pointed it out or brought it up at this point. Cause it seems kinda huge. It just happened to me not far after I said no bucks for me. <laughs> and that's what you get for opening your damn mouth. You know better. You knew exactly what you were doing. Alright, uh. Alright, let's go ahead and end this day. And the boxes are not full. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, some of them, well, most of them only had a few items in it. And I'm assuming that's just to, like, whatever items you had in that order, you know? That's my, that's my thought process there. One step closer to the unemployment line. You guys did a pretty good job. Except for Edgeweather. You're a little bit of a complainer. Hmm. I'm sure we can figure out ways to keep you quiet if need be. For me, the streets was full of boxes. That just means you were playing for a very long time. Now, okay, so that, that begs the question then. If you indeed utilize the, the glitch that we found, where as opposed to actually turning in items for the order, you turn in just empty boxes and nothing, will you still have a quote-unquote box explosion in a few days of doing that and making sure you don't actually put items in the boxes? Because if that is the case, that leads me to believe that it was never intended for you to actually put items into the box. And if that's the case, that is fucking hilarious. <laughs> if that is the case, oh my god, is that hilarious. Because that means this mod was basically made for you to go into the, store, the online store, grab the box with the order on it, and just take it straight to the thing. Which, like I said, is a whole nother level of just, like, hilarity. That would be supremely funny. What'd you say, Spoonie? Did you say something? I didn't see you say anything. I thought I heard you say something behind me, but... You've been so quiet this whole time. I just thought there's no way you could be talking trash to me. Not on my payroll. Okay. So now, you guys know we have to test that out now. Oh yeah, I should probably get some more potato. Justin, what's up, man? How's it going tonight? Pretty good. How are you doing? Hopefully good. Alright, let's check it out. Let's see what happens. Uh, load save. Hashtag box explosion. Hashtag box explosion. Okay, well. All right, so once we clean this up, then we're gonna we're gonna do the test that I was just thinking about. We're gonna figure out if indeed 
what I was thinking will fix the current situation. But we got boxes on deck. Is that empty? No, there's something in there. Okay. Fortunately, these boxes are just kind of going back there. Yeah. Oh, wait, you're doing that, aren't you? Well, hurry up and finish. I ain't got all day. There we go. Fortunately, most of them are kind of going back to where they were. Oh, my God. Every time, y'all. These damn cashiers. I mean, not cashiers. These free stockers. Oh, shit. I just realized. Damn it. I keep doing that forgetting that it makes you guys not employees anymore. But I guess this gives somebody else a chance to be an employee. All right. Okay, well, if Cougar was smart, he would do the thing that I'm thinking of right now to guarantee his spot as a, as a as an employee. But I don't know if 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 Cougar is uh is picking up the the message that I'm putting down here. Aha! It seems they were smart after all. <laughs> Although these guys aren't employees. I don't know what happened. Oh, because Cougar was the only one. Well, whoever wants to be a, ca a restocker now is going to have to wait. How does it feel to be working here, Cougar? Tell us. Tell us about your your happiness in being an employee at Satsumart. I'm sorry, I can't hear your thoughts, Cougar. You have to say it out loud. We can't we can't hear what you're thinking. We can assume what you're thinking. But we can't hear it unless you say it. Click. I didn't know I couldn't go home. So you're telling me you didn't do your research. So not yours. What's up? Welcome to the stream. Someone help. <laughs> well, anybody who did even a moment of research when they researched getting this job would have known ahead of time that nobody who's worked here has ever left. But, I mean, you filled out the application, you showed up to the interview, and now here you are, looking stupid, telling everybody, willingly, that you didn't do any research before you started working here. Now whose fault is that, I wonder? Whose fault could that be? I wonder. The world may never know. The world may never know. But welcome to the store nonetheless. Wonderful to have you here. I got a feeling you're going to love it. Oh no. I almost, uh. I almost did the wrong thing there. I almost pulled a major oopsie. And spent all of my hard-earned moolah. How am I going to pay my employees? Welcome to the, to the store, Satsu smells like... Whatever that says. Hello, Black Romeo, who just so happens to be a Black Romeo. Look at you, you handsome... Handsome devil. 
You are both an accurate description and a name. What a coinky dink. <laughs> anyway, let's get these online orders, shall we? I'm not a legal citizen. Someone call ICE to free me. Oh, you thought... You thought that not being a legal citizen was going to stop you from being employed here forever? Did you forget that this was New York? You must have forgot. See, you forgot this was New York, didn't you? Man, you're dumber than I thought. Holy crap. Well, no. I'm thinking... My thinking is if we ship exclusively empty boxes, then we won't get the box explosion. That's the test that I'm going for. Because the boxes that we sent obviously had stuff in them and that led to the box explosion, right? Or did you did you not did you send all of your boxes without product? Or were you were you doing it with product? Okay, so yeah, that's my running theory right now, and that's what I want to test. Because if we don't get a box explosion, then that would mean that, <laughs> that we shouldn't be actually sending items. But if we do get a box explosion, I, I guess we just get our items back. I don't know, but we're going to find out, because I'm going to do that this whole day. I'm going to send no actual product and we're gonna collect this fettuccine alfredo and everything's gonna be great let's see 20 there we go this is going to be a grand experiment, ladies and gentlemen. By the way, I just want to emphasize that right now I have an online store and I'm making, I'm fulfilling orders and literally just sending them empty boxes and getting paid for it. This is, this is the, the true end game of the e-commerce drop shipping business. I hope y'all are paying attention. And I didn't have to make a course. I didn't have to tell you to go sign up for my free course so you can work for me as I work for somebody else and then recruit people to also work for me. And then I can get revenue off of you while you get revenue off of me. And then I get revenue off of my mentor and everybody loses except the guy who started it. See, it's not even going to be like that. That's unnecessary. We don't even need to do none of that. I'm just shipping nothing. I'm shipping boxes that I get for free from USPS. Are you Timu? I could be. Cougar, nobody cares. Nobody cares if you're not a legal citizen. This is New York. You can work here. You don't have to be a, you don't have to be. What part of that are you not understanding? Nobody's gonna save you. You begged for this position. You wanted this position. When the last guy got hired, you were pissed. Now all of a sudden, you scream and help me because you realize that you can't leave? Come on, bro. Get it together. I wish I could stay longer, but have a great day. You too. Don't forget to hit that sub button on your way out and hit that like button. So that way it helps with the algorithm. And hopefully I'll see you on the next stream. Thanks for hanging out. We got more orders, baby. You sound like a serial killer, you two. What do you mean? I'm just explaining to you the consequences of your actions. Did you get a box explosion, Robert? I am right. Oh, I'm right? <laughs> I knew it. I freaking knew it. That's so funny. It's so funny. So basically, we just got all of our items back. So either way it goes, it's free money. But 
on one end, it's free money with work. And on the other hand, it's free money without work. So which one is better? You tell me. You tell me. This mod is seriously broken. It is. It is broken, but it's a mod, and it's their first iteration of the mod. So, I mean, you know, bugginess is to be expected, but I like it either way. So, if my theory is indeed correct, which you basically have confirmed, I should get a bunch of empty boxes. Although, technically, dealing with that is steel work, too, so. Eh. Pick you poison. Oh, wait! There was a mod. There was a mod out there somewhere that allowed you to get rid of empty boxes that were on the floor. Like, it would clear all the empty boxes that were currently on the floor. What was it? What was that mod? I don't remember. Oh, my brain. My brain ain't braining right now. I'll think about it. It'll come up at some point. Uh, it might be time for us to look at another, uh, another expansion, yo. I don't know, man. Actually, maybe we can look at some more licenses. See if we can get some more stuff on palais. Oh, we can get the sodi pops. The sodi pops can go on the pallets. Nah, Romeo is cool. Well, here's the thing: like we want, we want the mod to be fixed, right? Like, you know, we're having fun with it being broken, but I think at the end of the day, you want it to work as intended, or at least I do. Like I'd I'd prefer if it was working than it than it not be working. Although it is hilarious that it's not. Uh Yeah, I think I'm gonna get the sodi pops. We can get sodas or juices. Actually, this one has four sodas, though, instead of just the three. Hmm. I'm late, but congrats on your new job. Thank you. Thank you very much. Eh, we're just going to get this one. It's here. All right. Here we go. Did a fresh install of the game and mods. Time won't advance when opening. Huh? Wait a second. When you did the fresh install of the games and you put the mod folders and stuff on the game, did you boot the game first? Like before you before you like put all the mods on there when you did the fresh install did you boot the game up first and then close it or did you just put everything on there at once and then boot up the game Cuz I I think you ran the game first then put the mod. Okay. Okay. Just making sure, because I think that was the way you were supposed to do it. For things not to fucking freak out. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you about that. <laughs> I got nothing. I'm all out of sagely advice at this current moment. Some people would probably argue that I never had such a thing. 
And those people are idiots and don't know what they're talking about because obviously, clearly, I'm just chocked full of sagely advice. Like, everybody knows this. It's like one of the most commonly known things ever to exist. Clearly. Oh, shit. I just realized I bought all this... These... Oh, man. I may have... Possibly... Put myself in a predicament. Which I know is a complete and total shock. Because, like... Clearly, I'm smarter than... Than to put myself in a really dumb position. Like, obviously. Like, clearly, right? Like, I wouldn't do that. But... If and I was the type of person to do something really stupid without thinking about it, like, you guys would know. Oh, that's not the one I'm looking for. Ah, there we go. That's the one I'm looking for. Ote. Some sage you are. Look here, Jen. You think... You think you could just come in here... And just say things? Hmm? I think I'm gonna just let you... Roll up in here... And just say th stuff... To me? I don't think so. I won't stand or sit for this. Not today. Not ever. You are a fool to believe such things. And your foolhardy hubris will be your undoing. Say stuff, Sue. That's me. I'm the guy that says stuff and things on the internet. His I. Say stuff guy. Alright, we got the palais locked down. Let's get our product on them. I love these palettes, if I haven't made that clear. I feel like I may not be doing enough to fully emphasize my love and admiration for these palettes. But I'll have you know that it is plentiful. Plentiful, I say. All right. Well, let us open the store. All right, Cougar. I hope you're ready to work. Because the peoples are coming. And they are showing up to buy all of our brand new soda pop. So I want you to put on your best smile. I'm hungover. Can we wait an hour? I mean, considering it takes like three hours for the first guest to walk into the damn store anyway. Don't, I mean, you got time. And that time just ran out. Because we have a guest. Hello, ma'am. Welcome to the store. Please help yourself to all the things and stuff. It's Black Romeo, who is now a white Juliet. Bro, I think we have COVID. We got to close. You better put on a mask. You better put on a mask because you are on the clock, sir. <laughs> These things happen. <laughs> My uncle just lost his wife. I gotta go. What they gotta do with you? 
Explain to me how your uncle losing his wife has anything to do with your current situation right now. I don't even know your uncle. Or his wife. Where'd he lose her? Disneyland? What, he let go of her hand? That's not my problem. I swear to God, man, this new generation. Y'all just don't want to work. Y'all just don't want to work. We got all this money and jobs to be given away. And y'all just find excuses every time. It's disgraceful, really. I'm sorry, sir. I'll stay. That's good. That's the answer I wanted to hear. See, now you're sounding like an employee of Satsumart. This is why I hired you, because I know, like, eventually, eventually you see, you see what's best. You know, you, you'll, you acknowledge it, and you understand, like, this is what's best for me. And then you eventually come to your senses. Uh, yes. Online orders. I'm taking them right now. On my new supermarket online store version 1.0.3. Which is totally broken. <laughs> and does not function properly. He had to break me like... <laughs> oh my god. Bro. Went to change her oil, ended up with a new bottle. <laughs> Imagine how horrible he treated Steve. Don't bring Steve into this. Steve was a valued employee, and I'm super sad to see he's not here anymore. Don't you dare try to bring Steve into this. Also, thank you for the sub and welcome. Welcome to the shit show. This is my employee. His name is Cougar. He was being pretty insubordinate earlier, but now he seems to have come around and understood the fact that he's net. Oh my god, I thought that lady died in the corner. <laughs> Oh my god. I thought Cougar finally snapped and stabbed a lady in the corner when I went outside. Thankfully, that was not the case. Steve made the ultimate sacrifice. Don't you worry about Steve. Steve is living the good life right now. Satsu is a great boss, most glorious indeed. Man, I don't think I've ever agreed with anything more than that. I don't think I've heard a more agreeable statement in my life. Welcome to the good life, folks. Welcome to the good life. Hold on. Wait a minute. Hmm? Oh. Well... That doesn't look full to me. Oh, maybe they're just preoccupied with everything else. Alright, I guess I'll help. I'll help out today. Lead by example. Show everybody how, how excellent of a manager you are. By helping out. Wait, you were serious about selling empty boxes? You thought I was joking? I don't understand why y'all be thinking I just be talking. Just for fun. I'd, I'd like... I don't understand. I think I'd just be just, just talking just to talk. There's a method to the madness. And you better believe there's... Plenty of madness to go around. I will serve my manager in this life and the next. No, 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 no. We only need you for this life. After this, I don't want to have to deal with you. Yeah, I don't want to have to, like, see you when I'm dead. I only need you here. 
Once we die, you can go do whatever you want. I just like instinctively started putting stuff in the boxes again. <laughs> Not exactly sure what compelled me, but here we are. This life and the next, it was in my contract. No. No, it wasn't. I did see on your resume that you put you don't read very well, but I'm gonna need you to, at the very least, comprehend the words that I'm saying out of my mouth. And that is a resounding nah, bruh, in all caps. Oh crap, I thought I thought whoever that was walking down the street was on the back of this car. <laughs> oh my god, we're almost out of taters. What kind of store is this? How could we not have potatoes? It's a blasphemous store, that's what it is. I can't be running an establishment with no potatoes. This is ridiculous. We need potatoes. Just finding out that there's mods from you and soon base game customization makes me actually want this game more. Um, the mods are really fun. They they are a good time. You should absolutely check out the mods. Tell me you can delete old save files on the better save mod. You can delete, you can make, you can save, you can swap, you can do whatever you want with your save files. You can make multiple ones. Uh, you can do whatever you want uh, with the uh, better save mod. It's great. I have multiple saves on this game, uh, on this one, that I hop back and forth in between. Like I said, guys, if you're not subscribed to my channel, you're not following me, I, I do. I, I cover all the mods, most of the mods, a decent portion of the mods, all the ones that I find fun. <laughs> <laughs> I started getting closer and closer to the truth with each statement. We eventually got there. Uh, let me see here. All right, we need potatoes urgently. Urgently, we need potatoes. This is in a potato emergency. Twenty six watching and only fourteen likes. My poor fragile little heart. How can this be? How can this be? But how do you delete it? Because there are a couple of saves and I want I want to delete, but no idea how. Um, if you want to delete it, Chotomate, hold on. Uh. Create load. Oh, if you want to delete it, you have to go to your your save where your where your game is actually saved at. And if you want to know how to get there, I can't exactly explain it right now because I don't know what drive your game is saved on. Uh, so you would have to. I, I made a video for it. There's a video that I put out on how to make multiple game saves, and it tells you exactly how to get to where your saves are. Hold on, let me look, cause I. I vaguely remember it. You have to go to your C drive. You have to go to users, your name for your computer, and then you have to find app data after you click on your name of the computer. And if you don't have app data, then you have to go up to, uh, to view on your file explorer and make it make hidden files visible. And then once you go to app data, you go to local low. And then after you go to local low, 
you have to find Nocta Games and then Supermarket Simulator. And that's where your saves are going to be. <laughs> I know that's like a journey. I know that's a journey, but that's that's how you get there. Let me know if you need me to repeat that. Actually, here, I can do this. Here's the path right here. So, on your C drive, users, your computer name, app data, local low, knock the game, supermarket simulator. And that'll do it. Oh, God, I'm about to have another box explosion, ain't I? Oh, crap. God damn it. <laughs> oh no. My potatoes. My potatoes has collapsed. What have you done? You have wrought destruction to my home world. You fool. How could this happen to me? Oh, there's stuff in here. E? Bruised taters. No discounts. You want to be a cashier? Well, what are you going to do to earn it? One must earn the right to cash here in this establishment. I gotta throw all these boxes away. Okay. What a box explosion that was. Okay, and these are actual products. Products in which I don't have a lot of space for. Okay. Donation. <laughs> Thank Jesus. I, I don't even... I, I don't know if I should even repeat that, but yeah, you're free now. You're welcome. After you beg to be an employee here in the first place, which to be honest is a little hypocritical. It is kind of weird that you wanted to be, you wanted to work here and then all of a sudden now you're just like, oh God, I'm so free from this hell hole. Mm. Little sus, little sus. But you better not write me down as a reference because I will tell them about your conduct here. To... Just saying. Anyway, now that that's done, there's only two Twitch people right now, so whoever the employees are going to be are going to be the two people who are currently uh, there, so let's see who it is. Although I need to not be wasting money like I'm doing right now, but I guess it's okay. Oh look, it worked. But you are so good at wasting money. Think so? Oh look, you got demoted. All that complaining and you came crawling right back, huh? All that complaining and look, here you are. Right here in the flesh.
you do know it's illegal to negatively affect a person's chances to get a job, like you saying negative stuff when you are used as a reference. What? What if it's true, though? What if it's true? Which it totally is. Like, I wouldn't lie. I would just tell the truth. As a former grocery store stalker, going to stalker from cashier is a promotion. It really is, though. <laughs> it really is, though. 100%. Even if you get paid less. <laughs> when I do the online orders, then quit, all the stuff shows back up by my mailbox. Indeed. Indeed, it does. Um... Which means that this mod is broken and does not function properly. But that's fine because free money. We like free money. So until they fix it, hashtag free money. Hashtag free money. Just saying. So basically what we've been doing, and this will probably blow your mind, is you don't actually have to put stuff in the boxes. You can literally go to the computer, grab a box, walk out to the mailbox, and get paid. You're still going to have the box explosion. They're just going to be empty. So, you know, like... Why not? I get to smoke cigarettes with the other stalker behind the store and talk real shit about our boss now. That is true. That is a perk. Also, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. See, now you're looking at the silver linings. Like, anybody can look at a shitty job and be like, oh, my job is shitty. But you got to think about all the things that you're permitted to do at said shitty job. Because there's some perks. If you have a really good job, then chances are you can't get away with stuff. But if you got a shitty job, it usually means that you can be a shitty employee. Mm -hmm. ah. Usually. Also, you're welcome for the job. I hope you do a good job. Hopefully you enjoy your time here. Uh, I, I don't want you to get in any altercations with the guest, obviously. Uh, just ring up the items, take the money, and everything should be fine. It takes away some XP? Yeah, but that doesn't matter. That's like... That doesn't matter. At the end of the day, it's really not that big of a deal. You're still getting XP for all the customers that are paying and regularly anyway. But you're sacrificing a little XP for some money. You're basically using XP to get money. It's brilliant. It's free real estate. Clearly. Look at my glorious potato palette. Look at my amazing sodi palettes. Look at all these bulls. There's so many of them. Uh, any mod loader, uh, you have to, when you go to the Nexus, there is a mod called i think it's like toby's uh bepinex and melon loader that has both of them on there and you basically once you download that into your game and you transfer all those files over to your game directory you boot the game up immediately close the game and then you're good to install mods at that point 
all the folders and everything you should need should be there and basically as long as you read the description of every mod you download from this point on it'll tell you which file it should go into either the bepinex or the mll loader and you're good at that point you should be just fine have you tried the us named stuff mod no no i haven't to get all the uh, like american products and stuff I guess I could do it at some point, but eventually I am going to download one of those total conversion mods just because of the fact that it opens, it gives you all the files you need in order to, uh, to go in and do your own custom ones. So I'm going to do that at some point. Because I know how to go in and customize the, the PNGs and stuff so I can make them my own products too. What button did you use to throw away empty boxes? It was T. There's a there's a mod. Uh what is it called? Smart Smart Pocket? Smart Pocket Boxes or something like that, I think is the mod. And basically as long as you're holding a box that's empty, if you press T, it'll throw it away in your hand. You can change it to something else. It doesn't have to be T, but T is the default. Doo -doo 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 -doo. He did it for everything in the store. I, that's, that's what I'm saying, though. That's why I was planning on getting it, because what will happen is when you download it, you will have his converted files with all of the stuff changed to what he changed it to. But you, that means now you have access to all of those items now. Like, they're all downloaded on your computer, so you can go in and edit them in any way you want. So just because you have their design doesn't mean you have to keep it. But you don't have the folders and the files that they have in order to change it. But if you download it, you will have them. And that's the issue. So one of the issues I kept running into is getting the files was difficult for me because the way you have to get them is weird if your computer doesn't have all the stuff on it it needs. But if you download somebody else's already uh, edited texture mod, you can just edit whatever pictures they have. And there you go, you win. You win! What's what's particularly difficult to get is the uh, the actual the breakdown images for stuff like the the counter right here and the the refrigerators and the freezers. Those files I hear are particular well not difficult to get, but like I said, you gotta like you gotta do some stuff to get access to those files because they're not the same. You can't access them like the image files that are actually for the products. So I'll be downloading any custom ones for the fridges and the st and the stuff too. That's how I did the um. That's how I did the walls and the and the floor before. Is I downloaded somebody that ugly mod that had the super disgusting floor and the walls, and then I just edited those files and turned them into what I wanted them to be. I wonder if you could model the lights to make them look and act like proper store lights. Uh. The most I think you could probably do is change the color of them. Like, for the people who know how to go in and actually edit 3D models and assets and stuff like that, I'm sure people could do whatever they want in that regard, but... I think if you're just, like, messing around with the textures, the most you could probably do is change the, uh, the color. Here's my assumption. Alright, so what do we need to buy another growth doobly? 22? That's not terrible. I think we should finally get some freezer items. Maybe we should get the ice cream. Uh, licenses. Dairy products, ice creams. Yeah, we should get the ice creams. We got to get two freezers, though. 
and that's no fun. Lion, thank you. Outrageous. Back in my day, we had to pay Mr. Two Cents $25 an hour to work for him. Did you? I don't remember that. Can we go back to that? We can relive the good old days if you want. I'm down. Hold on, let me uh let me bring up Streamlabs. So I can actually read these when they before they go away. Aha! To work for him. This new generation knows nothing of work. There you go, Lion Patriot. Tell him how it is. You guys should be paying me. I'm actually paying you for a change. And you get the privilege of also working here and getting paid at the same time. That's like blasphemous. Count your blessings, guys. Count your blessings. Opportunities like this just don't pop up for everyone. I tell you what. All right. Uh. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and we got fifty-four customers. It's not bad. All right. We are gonna need. Uh. Furniture. We're gonna need two freezers. Uh, there we go. I wonder if you can model the lights to make them... Oh, wait. I already answered that one. I'm reading. I thought, I thought the chat was moving, but it hasn't moved in a while. Uh, where should I put these? Maybe I'll put one right here, because this is, this is a place where they put the ice cream, right? They'll put it, like, right at the end of the register. Or maybe I'll just put, put them both right here. Like maybe they can both go right here, huh? Eh? Come get your ice cream. That other one's probably... Yeah, it's gonna be poking out just a little bit. No, we don't want that. We wanna move this one back over here just a smidge. And then we'll put this right there you go this is a terrible place for this <laughs> I like how I put that down with such conviction with such gusto and immediately was like nope this sucks uh, maybe we'll just put them like right here Ooh, thank you for the follow. Welcome, ma'am. We are currently setting up here to buy some ice cream. Because everybody likes ice cream. We all like ice cream. Let's go to management. Licenses. Ice cream. Figured I'd follow you on Twitch as well. Well, thank you. Much appreciated. Not only do you make one bad decision, but then you double down and you say, you know what? I'm going to do it twice. That's amazing. I can't, I can't do nothing but admire that kind of conviction. Story of my life. All right, one, two. Ooh, this ice cream is expensive, bruh. Bro, this ice cream is pricey as fuck. <laughs> oh my god. Why so expensive ice cream? I may have fucked up. Actually, no, I think it's fine. We'll be fine. Everything's fine. Because if I remember correctly, these ice creams take up two... Two. Yeah. Oh shit, that means I need another freezer then. Hmm, I seem to have miscalculated. 
I forgot that the ice cream takes up two spots. Uh, yeah, that was a big miscalculation. Also, too, what the fuck am I doing? I was supposed to be upgrading my storage room. Bro, I am tripping. Uh, you know what? I got a lot of sodi pop, so I can sacrifice the sodi pop spots. Know what I'm saying? We can, we can, we can make this work. Is what I'm, what I'm getting at right now. We have technology. We can improvise. No need to be stuck on stupid. Just, just improvise. Oh, huh? little improvision ain't never hurt nobody. We got this. It's no problem at all. We have much room for ice creams. All right. Sorry, potatoes. My bad. You in the way, though. I need you to be there. Okay. So both of these are full. I do need another fridge, though. Oh, and he dropped in with the tier one sub. Tripling down on the bad decisions. Your obsession, your dedication to mediocre content is inspiring. Much appreciated. <laughs> Gotta do things in three. I appreciate it, man. I, I you know what? That is that is a level of conviction. I only hope to match at some point. Uh, I think I should move the potatoes, or maybe I should move one of the soda pallets outside. I need to be, I really should be focusing on expansion, but I, I kind of have not been doing that. Oh, actually, we can put the taters right here. Instant access taters, they're right by the door. Like, you can grab them right at the door. How convenient is that? I'm a genius. I'm just a big old smart boy. And now we need one more freezer and then we're gonna be broke as shit. I've been drinking, got back from a baseball game not long ago. I will blame that. Don't worry. You will log into Twitch one day looking for a stream to watch. And then you'll see an unfamiliar name, and you'll go to check it out, and you'll be like, when did I sub, -sub to this guy? And then you're going to pop into the stream and be like, all right, well, you know, I feel like being entertained. And then you're going to get in here, and you're going to be like, what the fuck? The fuck was I thinking? And I'm be like, hey, what's up? <laughs> How you doing? Welcome back. <laughs> Might as well stick around. You already paid for a month. <laughs> You're here now. Boy, I'm broke as hell. All right, we got to stop fucking around. We got to get some money. It's Struggle Bus City out here. Hold on. Let me put the rest of this ice cream away. Right, ice cream away. Although, bam, bam, we are seriously going to need another rack pretty soon. Actually, we're gonna need to expand the the storage room at some point. I probably shouldn't have bought the ice cream in hindsight. It's probably not a good idea. But that's okay because people are already buying it. Bro, you gifting subs too? You gifting subs too? Oh, you, you're a mad lad. 
Thank you for the gifted sub. Appreciate it. Uh, the online store mod. What is it called again? I think it's called, uh, hold on. It's called Supermarket Online E-Commerce. That's the exact name. Supermarket Online E-Commerce. That is the name of the mod. No problem, no problem. I had to look it up because I forgot. <laughs> Although, hilariously enough, it's it says it right here. It doesn't say the e-commerce part, but it is what it is. I offer no excuses. Do, 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 do. So yeah, once I start this job and I get settled in and stuff and I figure out like what my schedules and stuff are going to look like, I'll let you guys know what my stream schedule is going to be looking like. I'll definitely not be streaming as often as I do right now, clearly, because I'll have a full time job, but I will try to definitely stream as often as I can. And I'll tell him the drawback to using the mod. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, if you download this mod and you decide to use it, basically at some point you're going to have to log out of the game because you're going to stop playing. When you come back into the game or when you reload your game save, every box that you've put in this mailbox will burst out of it in a giant eruption of boxes because you will get basically everything back out of it that you put into it. Because this game is, well, the, the mod is actually kind of broken. So, just a disclaimer. If you plan on using this mod, know that it is broken and does not work right. But you still get free money for delivering empty boxes. So, pick your poison. He's abandoning us for old people. Well, unfortunately, you guys don't pay as well as they do. Because <laughs> if you did, then I wouldn't be leaving you for old people. But it is what it is. Because Biden's America is stomping at me in the nuts right now. So he should fit right in. He's old as hell, too. See, there you go. Everybody wins. Old people lap dances. It ain't that kind of nursing home. Like that uh, that Lonely Island boombox video. Y'all ever seen the, the song, the boom the boombox from Lonely Island? That's one of my favorite songs. <laughs> I fucking love that song. It's so stupid. There's a mod you get money from throwing away empty boxes. Like just regular empty boxes? Like you get like a... Like you're recycling them or something? Satsu, you're 39, right? 39? Holy shit. Not that I'm aware of. Unless I jumped in a fucking time machine. Did it just come out? Oh shit. I'm like actually out of stuff. Oh my god, I was neglecting my stuff.
I was focusing on the beverages. Is my store closed yet? Not yet. Okay. Alright, that should be decent. I'm gonna have to do a full a full purchase again, like a big store wide purchase. I need to get more storage room though. Uh potatoes were over here. Got it. Gonna show up in nothing but speedo and a chef hat. It is hilarious that you think I own a speedo. If I ever wore a Speedo in front of my wife, she would divorce me instantly. Like the ring on my finger would literally just shatter and cease to exist. It would just, it would literally be like somebody Thanos snapped it. Yeah, that wouldn't go well. <laughs> that wouldn't go well at all for me. He's overcompensating. He has five. Five what? Hold on a second. <laughs> I do not own any Speedos. And I'm sure if I did, nobody would want to see me in them. Although my wife wants to whore me out on uh, on OnlyFans. I'm not going to tell you why, but she said she wants to because she thinks I'll be super popular. As long as I don't put my face on it. Obviously, I told her no, because I am a distinguished gentleman. And would never do such a degenerate thing such as that. But yeah, she like, man, look. I know you got, like, integrity and dignity and shit, but <laughs> we can make some dough. And I'm like, look here, wife. Stop trying to whore me out on the internet. Should have told her you first. Here's the thing, though. She's confident that I'll make a ton of money. But she's like, nobody wants to see me. And she's like, look at me. I'm all ch I'm all squishy and chunky. And I'm like, have you been on OnlyFans? Like, I don't know if you've seen some of the creatures on there, but some of them are making bank, and they look like who done it. So, um, I don't know what you talking about. <laughs> I told her she should get set up on one of those foot fetish channels or, or pages or whatever. She gets some good money for that. That's like the that's like the tamest thing you can do. I mean, you'll be interacting with the, some of the biggest creeps ever, but if anybody can identify you by feet other than your husband, Why don't you decorate your store sensibly? Why don't you do it? Hmm? Why, why, why don't you do it, Jen? Why don't you come over here and decorate my store sensibly? Didn't think of that, did you? Didn't even come up, did it? That box mod is called Box Bucks? Not recycling? How much money do you get? Is it like, does it, does it matter at all? Is it like significant? I mean, I guess any money is better than no money, but.
Mm. Mayonnaise. Potatoes. Icy to cream. One to three dollars, depending on the box. Eh, I mean, that's something. It'll add up over time. You do throw away a lot of boxes in this game. Although, <laughs> although, there is this. Th there is this mod. That literally conjures up a uh, an empty box of any any size you could possibly want at will. So yeah, I mean, there's that. <laughs> I mean, you can just pull a box out of your uh, your um your back pocket and just toss it in the trash. There you go. Three buckaroonies. And if you wanted to be a, a clever bastard, you could take a pallet or something, put it right next to the trash, and keep grabbing the boxes and automatically throwing them in the trash. To make three dollars a second. Depending on how fast you are. Just trolling that out there. That's a pretty stupid way to make money, but more power to you. I've seen dumber ways to make money. Ever play... Big what? Did you mean big ambitions? Do it so you hire more people. That's a big ambition? That's a game? I don't think I've ever even heard of that. I mean, there's only four people in the in the doobly anyway. Two restockers is enough for now, and any more than one cashier is overkill at this point. At this point, at least, that won't be the case once I do some more expansions and possibly get some more stuff. I love that game. It's a good game. Big ambition. What kind of game is it? Is it on Steam? Let's take a look. Oh no, stop playing commercial. Oh god, stop it commercial. Build your business empire. From condos to penthouses. Oh, wow. This game actually looks similar to this one. Control New York. Huh. Are you just, like, buying the city slowly over time? <laughs> the game about big ambition. Wow, this looks... This looks like something Monkey would get into. Oh, you guys should tell Monkey about this one. I think Monkey would really like this. It looks a little involved for me. Like, there seems like a lot going on in it. Watch somebody play the hell out of this. Uh, let me see here. You received new orders. I got new orders. I think I should actually uh, close and open the game again pretty soon, or else this next box explosion is going to be um, a little hefty. The top down reminds me of the original GTA. It's kind of got like Sim City vibes almost. 
but the city's already built. You guys see that Korean Sims game or whatever that's supposed to be taking over the, uh, what the? Huh? What the fuck is this screen? I've never seen that screen before. Huh. How did I do that? I didn't mean to do it. I already had that. Oh, when you... Huh, I've never even thought to click on that like that. Oh, that makes... Okay. So you get like an actual image of what they want. Oh, that's... That's actually pretty helpful. <laughs> I didn't even know. I didn't even know this was a thing. Like, not even joking. Joking, I had no idea that was a thing. Oh, and now I'm, now I'm stuck in the box again. Damn you, game! See, now I don't want to use that because... You get stuff like this happening. Well, I mean, I clicked accept because that was the button, but, like, there was no indication that this was clickable. Like, it's just, just something I didn't know, know existed. Like, you wouldn't just think to randomly click on random stuff on the screen. You'd click on the green thing that's clearly saying click me. So it's not like there was any indicator to, like, tell you that you should click that. It's just, like, you click accept to accept it. That's, that's, that's... That was the only thought I had. I never thought I should randomly click on other parts of the screen to see what happens. Because it just didn't make sense that anything else would happen. Yeah, but it's like, it's like under the, I didn't even know, like until you just said it says show details, I had no idea that this, even, like I didn't even look here because it looks like it's just part of the address. And because it's the moment I realized that all the addresses were basically the same, I was just like, all right, well, I stopped focusing on that at all. But it says show detail. That doesn't say click here to show detail. It just says show detail. I just it did, never occurred to me to do that. <laughs> You're our hero. Look, you guys watch me, despite the fact that I've clearly, blatantly, and very loudly told you how mediocre my content is and how stupid I am. Y'all, y'all, like, you acting like this is a, you, like, y'all are like, oh my god, I've been blindsided. How could this happen? We thought he was such a genius. We thought he was smart and competent and made good videos. What happened? We've been lied to. No, you are getting exactly what was on the box. Your expectations were far too high, and that's your problem, <laughs> not mine. He suffers from select vision. I mean, that could also be true. That could also be a thing. Also, good job, Race King. You've been doing an excellent job here. Unfortunately, your externship is almost up. So we're going to have to let you go pretty soon. But until then, keep up the hard work. I like your work eth ethic. Cougar, you're doing great, too. Even though you probably said all kinds of horrible things about me behind my back. Still appreciate your hard work, too. If you guys are wondering why I still have this box, it's because it's basically stuck to me right now. Is it going to go away? Nope. God damn it. Well, I did say I needed to back out and come back in. 
Y'all ready for another box explosion? Uh, I gotta figure out what that mod is that allows you to just clean up any empty boxes on the ground with the press of a button. This is like the loot explosions from Borderlands, but significantly less exciting. All right, guys, don't forget over on Twitch, if you want to be an employee, make sure that you visit the store so you can work for me forever. Give each person an effed up model and skin. Where's your kosher section? Uh, down here. We keep it down here. You gotta figure out how to get down there though, but this is where we keep it. So, just check down there and then you should be able to find it easily. Also welcome. No, it's not. We keep it in the safest and most sanitary place we have. How dare you. I will not accept this slander and accusations. That's where you lock your employees at. Oh yeah? Then explain this. Explain this. Hmm? Explain this. This right here. What? What's... What's this? What is this I'm looking at, huh? What's this? What are those? Hmm? Them look like employees. Totally out in the open. Strange. Strange, that. How odd that I, who lock employees in a dungeon, seem to also have employees who were not locked in dungeons. Who are out and able to free their free range employees. Yet, still the slander continues. Will it ever end, I wonder? The answer is probably no. But should it end? I would say that the answer for that has to be yes. The slander cannot keep going on unchecked. Clearly, something has to give. Something will give. Eventually. Cryptic, I didn't even respond to that. I'm like, nope. I got, I got no response to that at all. Family friendly stream. What the fuck? There was boxes over here this whole time? I didn't even see these. Hey, bro, I need a ride. Let's go. Hmm. That didn't really work. Didn't quite work out. Uh, storage. We need more storage for sure. It is finally time to get more storage because I've been beating around the bush on that one for quite some time. And it is now time to finally do what's right. Wait, what? Huh? Oh. Wait a second. I thought I took that mod off. And why was it working? That's weird. Huh. Okay. That was unexpected. I'm pretty sure I turned that mod off. 
or took that mod off. I guess I didn't. Alright, well now I gotta... Damn it. My scroll wheel is fucked, though. This is the only way for me to spin this thing. Why hasn't this been happening this whole game? I've been moving and spinning stuff this whole game. Why is it only happening now? What the F? Oh my god. I'm not really sure why this is happening. But it is! It's totally happening! We only need two racks. Stacks on stacks. Racks on racks. Hmm. It's a little tight. A little tight. There we go. Now we have room. Now we just need to... We need to actually find spots for... I don't even know what's missing now. I think the so I think it's just the... The sody pops. Voltage was up, yo. How you be? Uh, okay. And then lastly, but not leastly. Okay. Now, I think the ice creams are actually fine. These can have just one for now. We're not like dying for ice cream. The waters are good. Although, where's the third one at? Over here? Hmm. Oh, there it is. Okay, we're good. Bye, Cryptic. Have a good night. Thank you for hanging out. Much appreciate you. Alright, how are we doing on our products overall? We can use more cakes. We can use more of that. Some more of these. A bit more of those. And some of these. And some of these. Couple of those, a few of these, some of them. I think that's fine. Yeah, that should be fine. That should be fine for now. Let us open the stool. Actually, we need to get our. We need to get employees. Well, we need to get named employees. Management, hiring, let's fire these scrubs, and then we'll simply hire more scrubs. A scrub for a scrub, if you will. Voltage, look at you. You just walk in the room and now you work here. Black Romeo is now an employee, and also Darth. All right, guys, I'm counting on you. Don't let me down. Don't you go letting me down now. We got lots of work to do. We have a business to maintain. A successful business. Full of success and money. He says with 800 whole dollars to his name. <laughs> Oh my god, the struggle is real.
Jen, you have yet to work at my store yet. Doth thou not want to be an employee of this wonderful establishment? Surely the answer is not no. Clearly, you see the merits of being an employee at such a high-end establishment, correct? I'm cool on that. I have a job already. Wow. Okay. I see how it is. Yeah, it's fine. Don't even worry about it. I ain't mad. Why would I be mad? I got plenty of good employees. Like this guy, for example. What do we need a gen for? Just so they can come in and try to sabotage me? Nah. I don't need that kind of attention in my life. I'll leave it to the professionals. Oh, you think that casual side compliment is going to stop me from being very upset with you? I think I'm a door greeter. No, where'd you go, Darth? Oh, there you are. Well, I mean, you might actually be, considering you're not doing any work. Yeah, pray tell, why aren't you working? That's an excellent question. There can't be nothing for you to do. This guy's working his ass off. Yet here you are. Hmm. Curious. He's still going. Hmm. He is still going. Yet here you are doing nothing. I find that quite troubling. Considering I'm paying good money to have you here. I'm gonna need an explanation for this. Is there a mod where products never run out of your shelf? I don't like going back and forth in my storage room. Basically infinite. Uh, well, there are some mods that make it to where you don't have to go back and forth into your storage room. You could start there. There currently aren't any mods to make items stay on your shelves forever. Because that would basically defeat the purpose of the game. <laughs> so at the moment, nobody has done that because that basically renders the game useless at that point. That's probably why it doesn't exist at the moment. But there are plenty of mods you can get to make it to where you don't have to constantly go back to your, uh, to go back to your, um, storage room constantly. Cougar, I did call you lazy, but you came into this store and you proved me wrong. So, I I don't have the right to say those horrible things about you anymore. Therefore, I will not. As you came in here and you proved that you are a very hard worker, and I appreciate it. You've earned my respect this day. You've made a middle-aged black man on the internet proud. That's quite an accomplishment. Uh... Oh yeah, we got more orders. I like how everybody's like spending more and more money now. That makes me very happy. Please, by all means, spend all of your money and buy all of the things. No need to stop yourself. There's no such thing as an impulse buy. Hmm. Why am I in here? <laughs> I don't know.
You don't you don't want my respect? But you've earned it. My respect is pretty valuable. I don't know, man. Most people would want it. I'm just saying. Seems a little unusual that you would turn down such a prestigious item. Some would even say almost blasphemous. Some might say that. Not me, of course. I would say that. Okay, let's see. Mm -mm -mm. We're creeping up on three hours, ladies and gents. Don't forget to hit that like button if you're enjoying the stream, and also follow and subscribe if you are even remotely entertained. Even if you're not, like, you know, just do it out of pure hatred and spite. I take hate likes and, and subscribes, too. Name one person. Name one person who what? You gotta be more specific than that. I've been talking shit for, like, three hours. Man, now that it's getting hotter, though, I'm going to have to definitely figure out the streaming situation because I'm going to need, like, a fan or something because it's getting, it's getting awfully spicy up in here. <laughs> this is, like, the, the like worst temperature-controlled room in the house, too, where my computer is. Especially if you close the door. Whatever it is. Like, if it's cold outside, it's Christmas in here. If it's hot outside, it's fucking the Sahara in here. The struggle is real. Streaming in this heat is excruciating. Fifty-three customers exactly again. Why does it not seem like our customers are going up? Have I leveled up in a while? Have I really been uh, depriving myself of so much XP that I haven't been leveling up? I'm not even sure anymore. This is the Satsu finally got a job stream. Although I'm not, I'm not fully claiming that I officially have the job until I finish this physical on Thursday. So I don't consider myself fully employed until onboarding is done. Cause anything can happen between then and now. And anytime I get too excited about some shit, that's when fate's like, you seem to be pretty content. Mm, I'm not a fan of that. And I'm just like, come on, fate, really? Like, can I, can I just like, can we just please? And they're like, no, 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 you're a little too happy. You seem to be excited about your current predicament. I might have to, I might have to do something with this slippery monkey wrench. And I'm like, bro. Please. Not now. He's like, I don't know. Now seems like the perfect time to fuck you. I'm just like, bro. I'm begging you. <laughs> uh, and that's basically how that situation goes, usually. It's fun. I love it. Thank you, Assassin. I appreciate that. They're going to make him do squats for an hour. Bro, if doing squats for an hour was a requirement to get in this job, then I would not be employed. They're going to witness about five minutes of gamer bod struggling. And they're going to be like, all right, just stop. Go home. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Hey, just, just go home, man. This is embarrassing. What are you doing? Why would you disgrace your family like this? <laughs> Have you no shame? Of course, the answer to that is no. Gotta call your employer to tell them to do that. Your ancestors weep from shame. Dishonor you, dishonor your cow. Nothing but pure dishonor going around to everybody. Fortunately, though, I'm the only one of my mom's kids. Well, one of two of my mom's kids who moved out of the house and stayed out and never came back. I don't ever call her for anything or need her for anything. I've been taking care of myself ever since I moved out. And she's just like, I'm so happy that you are the way that you are. Because all of my other brothers and sisters either still live with my mom or are constantly going back to live with my mom. Due to various circumstances. But I got out and I stayed out. Maybe if you add another till, you might get more customers. Mmm. You might. You might be right about that. Because I think, uh. Well, n no. No. Because, uh. The more customers mod is the one that actually calculates into the equation how many registers you have. But I don't think the vanilla game does. So unless you have a mod, I don't think that counts. I think your store level is the only metric, the only real metric for the vanilla game, I think. I think I have to get my store level up but i keep sabotaging my own store level by doing the i keep sabotaging my store level by doing the online selling although i could just do it correctly and not do it incorrectly and i won't have to sabotage my store level but once again that whole being an idiot thing sometimes sometimes creeps up on you. So instead of just taking these boxes directly to the to the doobly doo, I could I don't know, actually send actual product to my actual customers. Which I know sounds crazy, but I could do that as opposed to the not that. Because I swear to God, I would probably be like level 29 right now if I wasn't a dingus. Turns out being a dingus prevents you from progressing in life, even. Who knew? These streams really fill my buckets. I don't... I don't know what that means. And to be perfectly honest, I think I'm better off that way I get a feeling that the more I understand that statement the closer to Satan I become maxi cone huh ice cream and bottled water You need to do 
those sick boxes of canned drink displays like Yoda. If they would let me, I would. I would absolutely do that. Bro, somebody went on a straight up condiment run. Now I need a bowl. Uh, there we go. See, now I'm getting, now we're leveling up. This is how we do it. Ice cream. Ice cream. Sandwich bread. Hot water bottles in the sun is wild. They're not, well, this one's kind of in the sun, but these are pretty much in the shade. Don't be misrepresenting my store structure. I have a nice working system going on here. And you're just being a big old asshole. And so, ketchup. See, now we're not ruining our level up of ability. Now we're leveling up like a big kid. Look at all these orders. We got orders for days. Weeks even. Gonna level up like crazy in no time. It's gonna be glorious. You guys are gonna rue the day that you denied my talent and abilities. Rue it! Yogurt. That one. Hot sauce. This one. Ice cream. This one. No. This one, and salt. At this point, you should leave the milk out with them. Why would I do that? Milk expires, particularly quickly in the sun. Shows how much you know. All right, uh, okay, that, 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 that one, nope, that one, and that one, this one, and that one, no. There we go. See, I'm getting my SP now. Who drinks lukewarm water bottles, sir? You'd be surprised. As a matter of fact, there is a large subset of health nut people who seem to think that drinking warm water is much more beneficial and healthy than drinking cold water. And I know some people personally who drink exclusively warm water bottles. They refuse to drink them if they're cold. I don't question them on that notion because I don't give a shit. So I've never was like, hey, that's probably not true. Because usually I'm like, huh? Okay. And that's that's the extent of where that usually goes. Oh, damn it. Didn't mean to pick that box up. Potatoes are over here. Yogurt is there. 
pasta. And that one. Look, man, that's just what people be saying. I don't know if it's true or not, but they say it with a lot of confidence. Can you get a small rack of candy bars to put... Oh, you mean like, no. Your body can't take on the water until it's body temp. You can't have ice water going through your veins. Warm water makes me sick. I froze my water overseas so I could have cold water during missions. I'm not on Twitch. That was old. Yeah, what the heck? Where did that mess come from, Jen? Are you are you literally responding to a conversation that happened an hour ago? That's nuts. <laughs> I'm never coming to this store. Wow, that's rude. Why are you so closed-minded, huh? Why you gotta be so closed-minded? This is a wonderful establishment. You just don't fully understand or grasp how wonderful it is. And I get it. Most people don't. And I don't blame you. But one one of these days, you'll take responsibility for the errors of your ways. And you're going to wake up one day and be like, bruh, I need to do better. And then all the people around you are going to get up and clap gonna be this big moment it's gonna be glorious or something like that <laughs> on that note I think it's time for me to go ahead and wrap this stream up I don't have anywhere to go or really anything to do tomorrow uh, so I'm going to focus on getting some content done. I'm going to actually try to bulk up, like do a, I'm probably going to do a couple videos. I'm going to try to do as many videos as I can, catch up on some stuff that I've been missing out on, do some tutorials for some, for some mods and stuff that I haven't done yet. And just really try to pump out as much, cause I'm going to need to get a steady flow of stuff on my backlog for when I do start working officially. So if you have any suggestions, definitely go ahead and put them in the comment section of this particular stream. Uh, that'll guarantee that I see them and uh, anything you want to see, any type of video you want to see me do, any mods you want to want me to check out or whatever, I will be responding to everything that warrants a response and everything, every request for a video, I'll slap it on my list as long as it's something that is worth doing. <laughs> Watch Berserk 97. Wait, you said watch? I thought you were telling me to read it. Now you're telling me to watch it? Your messages are confusing. 24 hour stream, man. I don't I couldn't survive a 24 hour stream. Read it first. As short as I watched you, I like your new mods. Well, I'm glad you like it. All right, I'll get to it. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Everybody have a wonderful night. And uh, I'll see you guys soon.